Guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything is good in the hood. Um, so, yeah. The weather, man. It's brilliant. What great weather here in the UK. Sweltering hot. I'm loving life. I'm loving life. I'm going to go to the gym after recording this video. And then hopefully today, if I get some time, we'll do another live. We'll do another live without question. Um, I enjoyed it yesterday. I ain't gonna lie, I really enjoyed the live stream. Uh, you guys were brilliant, man. You guys were brilliant. You know, Ray and Steven and um, Ahmed and, you know, Mike, Makai. All of you guys, mate, are, are brilliant, man. I, I like speaking to you guys about boxing. It becomes like, it's becoming a bit like a, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's become a bit like, like we're a, like a family where we can talk boxing and go back and forth and you know it's it's brilliant man i'm enjoy i really enjoy i really enjoy everybody that comes on you know and uh, everyone that gives in gamo as well giving us an insight on Manny Pacquiao's training camp i love I, you guys are brilliant man you guys are brilliant i can't wait to have you guys on we can hopefully we can do live watch alongs as well which will be great in the future where and then you know it'll just be great and then after a big fight have you guys on the next day and uh, yeah it's yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait for the future. The channel's growing, growing. Uh, ever since we started in the live streams, I feel like there's more of you that are getting involved, and I'm just really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. So thank you, everyone, for you know playing your part in helping the channel grow. Um, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot. Uh, you know, I started a couple years ago, and I remember I had zero subscribers, and now I've got nearly fifteen thousand. You know, and the channel's constantly growing. And uh, with your guys' support, uh, you guys sharing the videos, you guys putting the videos out there, getting you guys involved, uh, this channel's gonna grow and grow and grow and grow. And hopefully one day we'll be the biggest, you know, one of the biggest channels out there doing boxing, you know, that that's the goal. Um, and you guys are helping me make it possible, so appreciate it. But yeah, um, I want to talk a bit, a bit, a bit about Billy Joe splitting with Mark Tibbs after the Canelo fight. Uh, it looks like this has been confirmed by Mark Tibbs that Billy Joe Saunders will be uh, or will not be working with Mark Tibbs. Uh, he didn't really go into much. Uh, he didn't really go into a lot of depth. He just I got asked, "Are you going to be working with Billy Joe moving forward?" And he said, "No." So there definitely seems to be a bit of disagreement. Maybe Mark Tibbs felt like he got thrown under the bus. Maybe he just felt like you know what he needs to step aside. Maybe he didn't like the interference of, of Ben Davison because I I think Mark Tibbs was Mark Tibbs probably was uneasy that maybe Ben Davison came into training camp because or kept, not a training camp, he wasn't there for training camp. And then on fight night he was there. Uh because that they always say too many chefs can sometimes spoil the dinner. And I think when you've got someone like Mark Tibbs who's a big personality, who's a great trainer, by the way, and then you've got Ben Davison, who's a good trainer and a big personality, you can sometimes clash. One thing I will say is that I think Mark Tibbs was a great fit for Billy Joe. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I think Mark Tibbs was a great fit for uh, Billy Joe Saunders. And the reason why I say that is because I think Mark Tibbs... I think Billy Joe and Mark Tibbs had a very professional relationship and, and Billy Joe respected Mark Tibbs. Not to say Billy Joe doesn't respect Davison. I don't know who Billy Joe, if he does come back because there's no guarantee Billy Joe's going to even box again because he has said that, you know, he may not box again. So we don't know if Billy Joe gonna, is going to fight again. You know, he may not. He may decide, you know, enough's enough and he may retire because he has hinted that at that. Um, but I just think Mark Tibbs is a great coach. Mark Tibbs, Dominic Ingle, I think these are the right coaches for someone like Billy Joe because they have a professional relationship with him and also they'll tell him what needs to be done. They'll, they'll tell him what to do. And I think Billy Joe Saunders needs a coach like that. He needs a coach like that that will push him. That's not his friend that's got a professional relationship with him. Ben Davison is more Billy Joe's friend. So I don't know how professional that relationship is. I'm not saying that they don't, they won't work well together, but I just think the fact I think the reason why he got away from Ben Davison was probably because of that reason, because of the fact that although there you know he likes his company and stuff, 
he sees him as a friend and he probably needs someone like Mark Tibbs or Dominic Ingle to, because they, they, ha they have more of a professional relationship. And Mark Tibbs is a very senior guy, senior coach. And when he tells you to do something, you do it, you know? And uh, I just think he, they had that kind of relationship. And I think Mark Tibbs is a brilliant, brilliant trainer. I think the way Mark Tibbs has handled everything as well has been great. Uh, great trainer. Uh, listen, he, he mentioned things about Canelo Alvarez. And he said that Canelo Alvarez is a great fighter. He goes, uh, you know, he's the very best right now. And he goes, it'll take a special fighter to beat him. He goes, it's not just about boxing ability. It's about the mindset of beating someone like Canelo. Uh, and I think Mark Tibbs hit the nail on the nail on the head. Uh, who knows? I don't think he was firing shots at Billy Joe. He did say that, you know, Billy Joe, um, uh, he wishes him all the best. Uh, him, you know, and hopes he has a speedy recovery because that was unfortunate what happened with the, with the eye socket. Uh, which we you know we all hope that Billy Joe has speedy recovery, uh, but I, I think Mark Tibbs probably maybe feels like he's been thrown under the bus a little bit, uh, so that's probably why he, he thought you know you know probably to step aside and and you know let Billy Joe you know go his go his way and he go his way uh, maybe it didn't work out. You know, I know that Billy Joe was initially working with Ben Davison, but then he hired Mark Tibbs, who had, he, you know, Billy Joe's worked with, I think, Jimmy Tibbs and Mark Tibbs. Uh, Jimmy Tibbs is the father of Mark Tibbs before. Uh, but I do think Mark Tibbs is a great trainer. You know, he's worked with Dillian White. He's worked with Billy Joe. He's worked with a lot of fighters. Um, his dad as well is very experienced. These are boxing people through and through. So, yeah, um, I was... I was surprised and not surprised at the same time because Billy Joe just, uh, you know, got back with Mark Tibbs. I thought this was going to be a long lasting relationship, but it's boxing. Things can happen. You know, when you lose fights, things change, uh, you know, and the coach, for some reason, are always the first one to get fired. Now, I don't know in this case whether it's Billy Joe that has fired Mark Tibbs, which I don't think it is. Maybe Mark Tibbs himself has decided to step away, you know. Uh, maybe he wasn't too happy with the Canelo situation, you know, Ben Davison in the court. I don't know. I don't know, you know, but uh, he didn't really speak too much about it. Uh, he just said that, you know, he won't be working with Billy Joe moving forward. Um, so, yeah, um, he has split with his trainer. So it'll be interesting if Billy Joe does come back, who he will be his next trainer and who Billy Joe will hire to work with him moving forward. Uh, because I'm, I'm obviously keen to see who he hires who he's going to work with. Billy Joe's had quite a few trainers now. He's had Dominic Ingle, he's had Ben Davison, he's had Mark Tibbs, had a couple trainers there, you know. So uh, let's see who he hires. Is he going to go back to... Do like, I won't be surprised if he goes back to Dominic Ingle because they had a, I think he has a great relationship and he's quite friendly with uh, Kid Galahad and I think Dominic Ingle, they have a great relationship. And again, I think, I think Mark Tibbs was a great trainer for Billy Joe and I think Dominic Ingle was also a good trainer for, for Billy Joe because I think... Mark Tibbs and Dominic Ingle are, are kind of uh, trainers that they don't tolerate nonsense. Do you see what I mean? They don't tolerate nonsense. They tell you what needs to be done. They have a plan. They, they come up with a game plan and they want you to do it. You know, they're not the type of guys that you, te you, know, you tell them how you... They, they tell you how you need to be trained uh, and you follow their regime, follow them what they, what they say. And I think that's what Billy Joe needs. He needs someone like that. That's professional. That obviously they have a good relationship, a good you know, a great bonding. But at the same time, it's a professional relationship. So I think someone like that's great for Billy Joe. And it's interesting to see what Billy Joe's gonna do next in terms of who he fights, where he goes. You know, right now his future's up in the air. He has said, I personally think he will fight again. I personally think he will fight on. I, I personally think that you know Billy Joe's. There's too many big fights out there. And I think one fight being the Eubank fight. I think it's just such a big fight where you could probably sell out, sell out 30, 40,000 states, especially if one of them can win a world title, especially if Eubank can win a world title. I think that could sell out a 30, 40,000 seater stadium. And I think with what's gone on with their careers and Billy Joe taking a loss against Canelo and then suffering an ice socket, the fight now might be viewed a lot more evenly by a lot of boxing fans. People may think that Billy Joe, uh, after you know, how, you know what happened with Canelo, that Eubank has a much better chance of winning. So this is why I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this plays out. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I am. I'm looking forward to how this all plays out. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. 
uh, about Billy Joe splitting with Mark Tibbs. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. I'd love to know your opinion about it. What do you What do you think? Do you think Billy Joe will fight again? Do you think Billy Joe will? Uh, who do you think if he is gonna fight again? Who do you think is gonna be his trainer moving forward? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.